Hey, what's up, Kanye kids? A month ago, Circle DNA sent me a DNA test kit. Circle DNA is a company based in Hong Kong that specializes in DNA tests, and they've got four different kinds. So the first one is called Vital DNA Test, which gives you insights on your um, appropriate diet, exercise, and lifestyle. There's also the Health DNA Test, which is centered around um, your health risks. The family planning DNA test gives you insights on the different kinds of conditions that you could possibly pass on to your kids. And finally, we have the premium DNA test, which is what I got, which includes all the different reports. So there are over 500 different reports across over 20 different categories. The premium test kit is really sleek. It comes in this black box. And in that black box is a letter um, personally signed by their CEO and co-founder, Danny Young. It also comes with a Circle DNA bracelet. Very few people have actually taken a DNA test, so you should feel proud if you ever do take the test. So what happens is you swab your inner cheeks 10 times on the left side and 10 times on the right side. Then after that you put the swab into a tube, break the stick, and seal the tube. Now the return process itself is also pretty straightforward. Um, it's very convenient actually to schedule a return shipping through FedEx um, because the package has already been prepaid. All you have to do is put the tube back into um, the plastic bag and put the plastic bag into the box. Then you put the box into your FedEx package which comes with your DNA test kit. So after maybe a good 30 days, that's when the results came out. And yes, I'm pretty excited to go through the details of my report with you guys. A month later, we now have the results on the Circle DNA app. The report summary includes 20 different categories, including dietary sensitivity. So um, these are the different kinds of things that my body doesn't really respond well to. Um, nutritional needs. Apparently, I need more of those omega-3 and iodine. I think I need a bit more fish in my diet. Also something to do with my well-being. So. Looks like everything is fine, and I have a normal lifespan. While I get enough sleep, it seems that my body doesn't really respond well to stress. I am apparently allergic to dust, pesticide, and automobile pollution. So the dust one is not really a surprise for me. I already know this. I sneeze whenever there's like dust particles flying around in the air. Um, but the pesticide one is new to me. So I usually sneeze whenever I drink coffee, but not all kinds of coffee beans. So it may have something to do with pesticide. I don't know. There's also skin sensitivity. Um, and it seems that I am at risk of oxidative stress cellulite formation and wrinkle formation although it also does say that my skin age is pretty young um, the report also says that I should consider strength training and not so much of cardio um, this is something that I kind of suspected because of my build like it's always been easy for me to generate muscle mass um, and I really hate cardio, like my endurance is bad, but 
when it comes to lifting, I find it a lot easier to do those um, like fewer, heavier reps. I had a negative image of weightlifting. Like I didn't think it was meant for girls, like because we could possibly bulk up like a She-Hulk. Um, but then later on, when I joined UFC and started doing weightlifting, I noticed that I did gain muscle mass and it boosted my metabolism, but I did bulk up to a certain extent. I, I looked strong. Um, the report also says something about your success traits, your music and dance abilities, and you know what they say that you know it's a talent, right? And it's true, it is apparently in your genes. Um, there's also your my ancestry. So surprise, surprise, I'm mostly East Asian. But what is surprising is that I I am two percent Vietnamese. Um, not really sure which side that's from. Personality traits. I'm likely to be reserved and likely to have a sensitive yet calm personality. What happened? Um, I guess when I was younger, um, I used to be like a really shy, quiet kid. Um, I was more introverted, um, lost in thought. And uh, I, I always found myself my head was always up in the clouds, you could say. And then maybe around college or when I started my career, that's when I came out of my shell. And now I'm, you can't shut me up. Like, <laughs> right? And then I wouldn't really say that I am, I don't think I've got a calm personality. I have a very explosive personality. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. Maybe you need to revisit your algorithm. For my behavioral traits, I'm less likely to be obsessed with washing and cleaning. I'm also less likely to be addicted to smoking, alcohol, food, and altruism. Okay, so for my physical traits, I am likely to have a high pain sensitivity. Less likely to have photic sneeze reflex. Some people sneeze whenever they look at the sun. So thankfully, I don't have this. Um, I am likely to have a normal sense of smell. Okay. So for my gender traits, um, looks like everything is normal. I am a normal female. I am also less likely to be a thrill seeker. It's actually due to some sexual hormones. So that's why some people end up becoming adrenaline junkies. Um, okay, so for family planning, um, the test goes through 163 different types of inherited conditions, none of which I have, so that's a good thing. I'm not going to pass on anything negative to my kid. Cancer risks, okay, so it turns out they already found a mutation called RAD51C. It doesn't mean that I have cancer, but that I am likely to develop cancer later on in life because of this gene mutation that they found. Um, but isn't that something that you could pass on to your kid as well? I don't know. Did I get this from my parents? Okay, so the report also includes mental health risks. So it looks like um, I'm pretty normal or average. Uh, for common health risks, same. I'm not really at risk of any of these comorbidities like stroke, heart disease, obesity. Um, for disease risks, it looks like I may be susceptible to four. Chronic periodontitis, I think that's got something to do with the gums. Tooth decay, flu, and deep vein thrombosis. Isn't that like spider veins? Um, so yeah, for the first two, this is probably the reason why I uh, really look forward to going to see my dentist twice a year. Um, I have a pretty good relationship with my dentist. Um, for drug response, this basically tells us what kind of um, pharmaceutical products will probably not react well with you. So for me, there are 25 kind of drugs that I should watch out for but usually they're maintenance drugs like I'm not taking any of these right now honestly the only thing I'm taking is like goalie gummies 
And I think that's it. So if we wanted to see details, um, we could click through these uh, different reports or categories to see the details. So for example, this is pretty interesting. So I have high creativity and high math skills. When I was in high school, I remember taking a personality test and that was for us trying to determine what kind of career path we could possibly go on. I remember these two things popping up as well, right? Like, at the time, I thought creativity meant artistic side. But here, what they mean by creativity isn't necessarily artistic in nature. You could be into the sciences, like problem solving creatively. It was only recently that I embraced my mathematical skills. Like I used to shy away from math. Um, but then in college, I took a math intensive course and I came to enjoy it. So in terms of sleep, um, if you go into the details of it, something that stands out for me is the chronotype. I am a night owl. And my mom always said that, oh, people who would take on like a night shift or sleep really late are more likely to get heart disease, etc. But the thing is, I get enough sleep. I, I often sleep like 9 to 10 hours a day, right? Why would I be at risk of heart disease? Um, and in terms of my diet, um, this kind of DNA test actually does tell you that not all diets are for everyone. So remember that time that I did a keto diet and it just didn't work for me? Al alcohol sensitivity. Technically, people who drink like one glass of, let's say, wine are actually better off than people who don't drink alcohol at all. But they also did say that if you currently don't drink alcohol, you might as well just just don't start drinking alcohol but if you already are drinking alcohol anyway um, drinking one glass a day is actually better for your heart um, one thing that's surprising for me is caffeine sensitivity it says I have normal sensitivity which I find odd because normally when I drink espresso or any cup of coffee whether it's cappuccino a latte a flat white I end up becoming jittery and I I'm basically a chipmunk the entire day I like how some of these results also give you additional information to debunk certain myths and also validate things that we suspect to be true. So meats can release toxins at high heat, which is why we should avoid anything charred or barbecued um, because any, any red meat that is charred are actually carcinogenic. Next, I'm scheduling myself for a free 30-minute genetic counseling with one of their specialists. I, I can also do the same for a health consultant, but I'll probably do that later. So for the genetic counseling, I have a few questions for them. Is the DNA sample a snapshot of your life today? Can it change over time? Or does the DNA sample hold true for your entire life. Also, because circle DNA went beyond physical traits, like including um, behavioral or personality traits, does that then mean that in the argument between nature and nurture, it's always nature? Because then, if there is a possibility of nurture winning in that argument, um, could I then take another DNA test and have a different result? Or will the result always be the same? If the DNA test says that I have a predisposition to become this, can I fight my nature? Can I actually fight my nature? Or will I always be boxed within that what do you guys think? If you have any questions, I'd like to get your thoughts in the comments below. 
and maybe I can include them when I consult with a genetics counselor. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys found this video interesting and helpful, subscribe. Thank you.